So if you would like to win yourself a $20 PSN code, all you have to do is stay active on the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, and dropping a like on today's video. This week's winner is going to be Savane. Thanks so much, homie, for the support, and I hope you continue to stay tuned on the video. Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name is Blaze Redemption and today what I have for you guys is going to be a best ERAD Equinox class setup. So before we do start today's video guys, it would be greatly appreciated if you guys can go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and do actually enjoy today's content. Turn on notifications to stay updated and drop a like to show a little bit of support on today's video. So the first thing I want to talk about today guys is going to be my Elgato problems. So the reason why you guys won't be hearing any audio in the background is because of the simple fact that my Elgato is broken. You cannot hear audio in this game. Gameplay and recently as of today it literally just stopped working all together so I can't even capture gameplay at all so for the next week and a half I'll probably have some gameplays for you guys but after that it's gonna be kind of a struggle for me to actually produce some content so I'll probably just be live streaming the next thing I want to talk about today guys is two things I actually do like and dislike about this weapon before we get into the class setup so the first two things I do like about this weapon is the firing rate the firing rate on this weapon is absolutely insane it shoots very fast it's one of the highest firing rate weapons within this weapon class and it pretty much helps with getting kills because of the simple fact of how fast it shoots. Next, the other thing I do actually like about this weapon is the accuracy. The ERAD does have a very electric accuracy. Wherever you're shooting at, it's going to hit. You don't really need to use an ELO up on this weapon. That is literally how good this weapon is. Now, two things I actually do dislike about this weapon is the damage and the max size. The damage in this weapon is not the greatest. You guys literally have to stay on target with your accuracy if you guys want to get kills with this. And the max size in this weapon is only a 30. So that's really unfortunate considering it's an energy weapon. You can't put extended mags on here. Now moving on, the next thing I actually want to talk about in today's video, guys, is going to be the actual class setup. The reason you guys clicked on today's video, now on screen right about now, you guys are going to be seeing what I was actually using. The first attachment I was using was Quick Draw. Now with the Quick Draw attachments, this does actually give you an extra 5 points towards your accuracy. Also helping you guys aim in a little bit faster in gunfights, which will in turn help you guys get more kills. Now the next attachment I was using on this weapon is going to be a particle amp. The reason I use particle amp because it pretty much just allows you guys to have an extended stopping power range. So you guys want to be using particle amp because if you're playing on a medium to large size map like what terminal is, you guys have a better chance of winning gunfights because particle amp, like I said, gives you a little bit more of an advantage with winning gunfights. Now the next attachment we're using is suppressor. Now suppressor is pretty much used so you guys can stay off of the radar whenever you shoot. You don't want the enemies knowing where you're coming from when you're going for nukes. That's, that's kind of the primary objective of this. You guys want to stay off the map. So you use suppressor so you can run and gun without the enemies knowing where you're coming from this also does give you an extra five points towards your accuracy but it does take away your negative six from your range now the last attachment i was using within today's gameplay is going to be the foregrip the foregrip pretty much allows you guys to have a reduced recoil whenever you're shooting this weapon now with these four attachments combined this pretty much makes it where this weapon is going to be a literal a literal melt machine like i said guys with these four attachments it give you a plus four within your accuracy and a negative five within your range which kind of balances out with the particle amp because the particle amp gives you a plus five in your range so it's really only a negative one now the first perk I was actually using within today's gameplay is gonna be dexterity dexterity pretty much just allows you guys to reload faster and like I said guys you don't have extended mags on this weapon so you want to be running dexterity so you guys can get those quick kills and reload and continue to move around the map now the next perk I was using was actually scavenger scavenger pretty much allows you guys to re-up on ammunition so when you guys are running low on ammunition you want to kill an enemy and just run over them and they're usually gonna be dropping a little blue bag which allows you guys to get more ammunition and continue on with the fight now the last perk I was actually using was dead side now dexterity pretty much allows your jumps and slides to not be seen or heard within the mini map or up on the radar which will also allow for a bit of a smoother transition with going from side to side on the map however if the enemy is actually using tracker this is counter so you guys will still have that issue now guys it's going to pretty much wrap up my class setup i really do hope you guys did enjoy i hope it helps if, if it did feel free to drop a like on today's video subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new don't forget to turn on notifications if you guys want to stay up to date with each and every single video and live stream that comes to my channel as i am out here grinding my road to 4k subscribers every bit of support does help Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you watched to this point, it'd be greatly appreciated if you can smash down hashtag Blazing Power down within the comment section down below. This allows me to know who's watching the video so I can enter you guys into a $20 PSN giveaway that you've seen at the beginning of the video. Now, with that being said, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.